Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you from my kitchen. Uh, yeah, like, um, the table that I normally record my tour reviews on has other stuff on it, so this is actually the, uh, only real level surface that my tripod can actually line up a good shot on. Uh, but, yes, I managed to find the Sonic 2 2.5 inch big movie figure pack at, um, my Target, the, the one on 34th Street in Manhattan. That's the only Target I can easily get to. And, um, uh, unfortunately, this is the only movie merch that they had. Uh, all the other Sonic merchandise, like, they, it looked like they had just restocked because the shelves were full. They had the Studiopolis playset again. And they got in another Amy Rose wave. So, there were Amy figures there, the Neon Sonic wave. I have not seen the Silver Omega wave, and don't even ask me about the Rouge wave. Like, like, New York seems to be super far behind on the distribution of the Sonic figures, so I'm quite frankly amazed that we actually got this when we did. Uh, there was no sign of any of the 4-inch scale figures, unfortunately. But, let's not talk about what we don't have, let's talk about what we do have. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and um, you know what? It is really comforting to finally see this picture of Sonic the Hedgehog on a box of Sonic toys that are legit and not a bunch of bootlegs. Like, I have seen this picture of Sonic running towards the camera so many times on unofficial uh, complete crappy knockoff merchandise that it's really comforting to actually see it on a real box. We also got a really cool picture of Movie Sonic on the side of the box. That's, I'm not gonna lie, that's really good artwork there. I, I like that. And the back shows a glamour shot of all the figures that comes inside. This is a five pack with Tails, Knuckles, Sonic, Dr. Robotnik, and a Buzz Bomber, which um, actually is a Buzz Bomber, and they're not going with some kind of like bee drone or or elongated egg unit. No, it's, it's a Buzz Bomber. That's kind of cool. And you know what? Seeing Buzz Bomber in this like iPad color scheme, it kind of makes me want to see like that concept art of, of Metal Sonic, like looking Looking like, a, looking like a giant Apple product. I, I think that would be kind of cool. In fact, I like to see like, a, yeah, like Robotnik builds in like that, that uh, sleek uh, white, the way that he makes all his uh, badniks at first, but then like as the robot's personality develops and it desires to become Sonic, it like starts to recolor itself blue so it can look more like its namesake. That would be kind of a cool twist, like showing Metal Sonic becoming more and more sentient and wanting to become Sonic himself. That, like, you think that's going to be the plot of Sonic 3? The evolving, um, like, they're going to have Metal Sonic evolve from, like, a drone-like unit to maybe doing the Sonic Heroes thing where he tries to take over himself? Ah, uh, like, it's, it's really cool knowing that we're going to get a Sonic 3 after this. We haven't even seen Sonic 2, and we already know there's going to be a Sonic 3, and it's going to be awesome! Yay! Anyway, um, I have opened this box previously just to make sure all the figures inside were intact, but, uh, were, were it a completely brand new box, their ankles would be held down with, like, um, those little plastic ties to make sure that they stay in the packaging, but that seemed to be largely unnecessary because the, uh, bubble, like, the clamshell is doing a good enough job of holding them in place. But, I have gone on long enough, let's actually open this box and take a look at the figures within. So, here are all five figures removed from the packaging. Um, all are capable of standing quite well, and uh, they don't have any extreme pre-assumed poses, which I am extremely thankful for. Um, although they do have just enough of a natural pose ability going with them that they don't looks too stock straight like some of the some of the to some of the Tommy figures did. Um and like that buzz bomber like it's blending in pretty good with my with my stove. Uh but yeah like for for what it is like these are like the 2.5 inch figures so they're all fairly small but the details are great. So um I am all, all I'm all about that. That's uh 
That's pretty fantastic. Uh, so I figure let's um, get everything except one out of the way and uh, like get an up, get all up close and in depth uh, individually. Okay, let's start with Buzz Bomber because it's always good to see a new Badnik, and um, I'm seeing how like this thing could fold up into an egg shape. Um, but then unfurl itself into this cybernetic bee looking thing. I like how it appears to have jaws and that creepy cycloptic eye. Um, it's hard to see but here like if, if, the sh if the light catches it just right you can see all the little pits which is probably like where it's little bullets shoot out like the Macross missile spam. Really, this is reminding me of the Badnik design from Sonic 2006, and I'm not sure how that makes me feel, because there's a lot of stuff about the design aesthetic of Sonic 2006 that I would, um, I would have some negative things to say about, but I think the robot design in general was pretty good, so I'm going to err on that being a good thing. Uh, it comes with this little stand, which is removable, so that... If you're a child playing with this, you can do your zoomy zoomy pew pew pews without having to worry about this breaking your immersion. And um, it, whoop, 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 bump the camera. It's not a static piece. There is articulation here. Um, the abdomen is attached by a ball joint, so the thorax can move around. Um, it's not quite. I mean, I guess you can do this to make it look like it's approximating more of a flight pose and then like swing it around to make it look like it's getting into firing position. I guess that's something you can do. And the head is on its own little ball joint, although um, that little sculpting detail does limit the ball joint's range. But, you know, you can like, you can set this thing up so that it's kind of like twisting around like it's in search mode. Doesn't have to be perfectly lined up with its own stinger. And that's, that's kind of cool. I was not expecting the buzz bomber to be articulated. So, yeah, Buzz Bomber. Looks pretty darn nice. Up next is the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Robotnik, as portrayed by Jim Carrey. And uh, despite the fact that this figure is literally the size of my finger, it's actually pretty well detailed. Uh, let's hope I can get in close to the face without it fuzzing up. And you can see he has eyebrows. Um, his eyes are painted decently well. They got a pretty good likeness of his chin there. And the mustache even has some shading. That's a lot of detail to put into a figure so small. I mean, his entire head is only about half the size of my thumbnail. That's really good. I appreciate this. That's amazing. Uh, the rest of his costume looks pretty nice too. It's uh, that red trench coat affair with the black highlights. Pretty interesting look. Details on his shoes are sculpted in. It's like, all around, it's a really nice figure at this size. I can't wait to get my hands on the, on the four inch scaled one because, um, you know, like that'll look like this, but better. And uh, it's getting kind of washed out on my thanks to the lights on my camera, but he does have little gold buttons hidden on the sides of the black um, parts of his costume. Um, Articulation-wise, it's pretty basic, uh, just like any of the other four-inch fig, um, two-and-a-half-inch figures. He has a head on a swivel joint, uh, universal joints for the shoulders, good old-fashioned pin discs, and surprisingly enough, his hips appear to be ball-jointed. Um, they're a bit restricted by by the, the coattails, but um, his legs do get a bit of range, so that's something. And I'm wondering if they're going to make um, uh, the Egomatic Hovercraft for this thing to go inside of. Because uh, uh, I already know they're making a tornado in the scale, so having something to stick Dr. Robotnik in will be kind of cool. Um, of course, there is one thing, let's address this right now. We have scale. Um, the figure is taller than the other characters, but not by much. Uh, this is nowhere near the scale. Like, like, J like Jim Carrey would be significantly taller than this. Uh, but you know what? I feel like this is a token. Like, like they had they made Robotnik in the scale to say they could make Robotnik in the scale. But I think like 
the two and a half inch scale figures put next to the four inch scale Robotnik will actually look pretty good. It'll look like how they look in the movie. So um, these dudes are meant to pair with this dude in the larger scale. That's that's going to be what I'm saying now. Um, but yeah, like for what it is, this little Robotnik dude, pretty darn nice. Uh, and yes, the figure stands, it stands perfectly fine. So yeah, he's he's a little he's a little robotic, and um, for the like for the first time I've ever had a Jim Carrey robotic figure in hand, it's wonderful. I'm wondering why we didn't get a Jim Carrey robotic figure before. I know the toy line was essentially canceled, and they put out the one produced wave into whatever stores would take them in, but they didn't even have a robotic figure for the first movie. Like the closest thing they had was like a picture of Robotnik on that little set that like a sonic roller thing would go through. Like if they made a Robotnik for the first movie, I totally would have bought it. Uh, now on to the next. And it is Movie Sonic! Oh, I finally have an actual factual Movie Sonic figure in my hand. At first I thought this was, this was a paint defect, but all of them have that. It's the intentional way his belly patch is represented. Um, but yes, this guy looks pretty good. You can see he has some nice fur texturing in the sculpt, reminding me of Jazzwares' Werehog figure. And everything is so nice on him. Uh, he looks good. I like his expression. I like his little painted mouth. Um, the, the proportions are nice. This looks so good. Um, only thing is that uh, it's a little bit weird seeing uh, the proportionally smaller feet for this scale because, you know, you're used to Sonic having big giant cartoon feet, but I can live with that. Um, if you look in the back, you can see how he has the movie spine patterns, that being he has um, a row of three going down the middle instead of, instead of two, two, and two. And he even has a little extra spine in the middle of his back. So they act. They accurately captured his spine pattern in the movie. This is a this is a perfect representation of movie Sonic, and it's done at this little scale. Um, articulation is the same as the Eggman figure. The head swivels. Uh, he has universal pin disc shoulders. Nothing at the wrist. I feel like a wrist swivel could have been something they could have budgeted in, but whatever. Like. None of the other two and a half inch scale figures Jack Specific has put out has had wrist swivels, so I'm not going to complain about it here. Uh, he has universal um, uh, pin discs for the hips, so they go forward and back a lot, so you can get a nice running thing going on. There's holes, there's peg holes in the bottom of his feet, so if they make any accessories or play sets, he'll be able to peg into them. And uh, he looks pretty darn nice. I am quite loving the. Uh, the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog figure. And of course, I'm gonna have to compare it to my custom. My custom, of course, is made from Boom Sonic, so it's a little bit taller. Um, and of course, I, I, I don't mainline crack, so I didn't uh, sculpt in all of the fur detailing. But, you know, I did, I did make sure that the spine pattern was accurate. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, and you know what? The modified soap shoe that I printed out on my 3D printer actually matches pretty good. Except that, you know, the proportions of mine are designed for like regular Sonic proportions, not movie Sonic, so they of course look a little bigger. Uh, but yeah, pretty darn great. I I love this figure. This This is pretty much exactly what I wanted for a movie Sonic figure. And they pulled it off at this smaller scale. So uh, let's not even cut, we'll just reach over and grab Knuckles. Oh my god, movie Knuckles is looking pretty fan tucking fastic. Um, uh, he, he is clearly a beefier, brawnier character than Sonic. Although he, he appears to be just barely taller. Like I have their feet lined up and you can see Knuckles' eye line is just just barely a millimeter above Sonic's eye line. I feel like um, when they're standing next to each other in the movies, he is a significantly taller like this. Uh, 
Um, I think canonically speaking, Knuckles is a year older than Sonic, so it makes sense for him to be a little bit taller at this age. I feel like when they're 20, they'll even out, but right now, like, we'd have a 16-year-old standing next to a 15-year-old, so they, they should still have some growing to do, and he should be ahead. So that does make sense. Um, and, like, he does physically... He physically looks stronger. He's not just a recolor of Sonic, but it's not to the extremes that they went to in the Sonic Boom cartoon. <clears throat> I feel like this is a good way to make um, Knuckles look stronger without going cartoonish with the proportions. Um, the shoe details are great. They look just like the video game character's shoes, but, you know, proportion like actual boots. Uh, so that's all well and good. Um, he does have a neck swivel sculpted in there, but the dreadlocks kind of clash, so he can't really move his head too much. That's kind of the thing that's always going to happen to Knuckles no matter what, unfortunately. Uh, but he does still have the uh, pin disc universal shoulders and pin disc universal hips, so... You know, you get all the movement you want out of that. You can still do all the poses. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, like uh, you can you can have him do the whole uh, do do I look like I need your power? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I I specifically dragged it out just for that. Um, oh, and as long as I'm pulling out stuff that I have just off camera, uh, may as well. Yeah, that looks about right. Like, um, I'm assuming that the official um, Robotnik figure is going to be about the same size as this one right here. So, uh, yeah, about about waist high. I th I th I think that that's a pretty accurate representation. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see when the movie comes out, and we can like uh, get screen caps of of the characters standing next to Jim Carrey, and then we can like line up the action figures the same way and see how the scale works. But yeah. Alright, so that leaves just one more for the set, and that, of course, is Little Movie Tails, who looks so cute! Um, Movie Tails, just, he just does not look any different from, from, from classic, from, from, like, the way that Tails normally looks. Like, he's, aside from a more realistic fur texture, this is just Tails, and I would not have him any other way. Well, maybe I would have him the way he looked in the Saturday morning cartoon, but, you know, that, like, like that's just another thing I would accept. This is pretty much perfect as a representation of um, the video game version of Tails done up in a more realistic um, pattern. Uh, so, just like everyone else, he has universal shoulders. Um, his arms are the ones that are most pre-posed of everyone's. It's, um, it almost looks like he's sculpted to be holding something in his hands. Like, is there perhaps uh, an accessory that this will come out with? Maybe, oh, maybe his hands are sculpted in a way that you could sit him inside the tornado in case you want to have a Tails that doesn't have goggles on flying the tornado. Like, if you want to do a video game thing. May, ah, they... If, um, when I get the tornado, I'm going to see if this lines up, and um, if, if that is the case, then I will give Jack Specific extra praise for thinking ahead like that. Um, he has the universal hips as well. And um, funny, like, everyone has different uh, souls. Like, Tails' souls are black, Knuckles' are, like, gray, Sonic's are white. I find that kind of interesting. Um, nice to see that they didn't just go with the same base color. They, everyone is actually unique. And, of course, he has one extra point of articulation, the tail swivel, which is good because otherwise they're back heavy. So this is how they are in the packaging, pointed upwards, but you can rotate them down so that he can tripod on them and not fall over. And that is Little Tails. Looks pretty darn great. And just to, just to have a little bit of fun, let's put um, uh, Baby Sonic from the first movie next to him. <laughs> oh, I am in, I I am having so much fun. This is this is this is like heroin to me. I am having such a dopamine hit right now. Um, but yes, that is the set. Uh, five wonderful little figures. Um, I mean. Uh, for for a total cost of uh, 20, $24.49, that is the retail price in New York, 
I think in other places it retails a little cheaper. It can go as cheap as $19.99 depending on what state you live in. But um, it's it's a good it's a good price set. I mean these figures are uh, fairly priced for what they are. Like like that that comes out to like five dollars a figure, which is pretty much the same as what I would get if you were buying them all separately. And they all come in one convenient little pack, so you don't have to worry about someone buying up like all of the buzz bombers to army build and then there's no more left in the store or or everybody grabbing the knuckles figure and then you can't find them anywhere uh, because um zeus the fox has been trying to get the four inch figures for me and so far he's been able to grab all of them except for knuckles which he's still trying to hunt down uh so let's all wish zeus the fox luck with that so that i can have um the four inch movie wave uh, but yeah, like, I love this set. It is a fantastic set, and um, I would encourage you to grab them. If, if you don't have the room to get all the larger figures, then this, would, this is a fine substitute for the space-conscious and, uh, and um, uh, budget-minded collector. Although maybe I would still recommend getting the foreign-scale Dr. Robotnik, because this is a little bit too small next to them. Uh, so this has been Wake Angel 2001. I hope that the movie is as good as these little figures are, and I'm signing off.